At Battleborn Batteries, we get a lot of questions on solar. And one of the biggest questions is, how do I size my solar panels to the battery bank? So we're gonna go over that real quick. I'm gonna give you a quick calculation and give you kind of a reference point. In general, if you have a 100 amp hour battery from Battleborn, 200 watts of solar is a great match. Now here's the calculation of why. So if you take 200 watts and you times it by 0.9 for efficiency loss, and then you divide it by the voltage of the battery, which is 14.4, then you get about 12 and a half amps. 12 and a half amps is how much it's gonna produce in uh, about an hour, and then you times that by the available sunlight. That's about eight hours, and that gives you 100 amps. 100 amp battery, 100 amps of power coming into it. At the end of the day, you have a full battery. That's why we recommend 200 watts with one single battery. Now guys, those are very broad strokes. That's a generality and many things can change that. The location, the time of year and the season. Uh, but in general, that's a good baseline to see how much power you need in wattage versus the batteries. So every solar system needs a solar charge controller. What's gonna do is take that raw power from the solar panel and knock it down to the right level to charge the batteries properly. There's a few different kinds of solar charge controllers. PWM, which is a pulse width modulating, and an MPPT, which is this unit, which stands for maximum power point tracking. Now, MPPT is more efficient, about 20 to 30% more efficient than a PWM. A lot of different models out there. How to, how to pick the right one is, uh, is the next question. Many people get confused about the numbers on the front of the solar charge controllers. In this instance, you have 100 slash 30. The 100 stands for the maximum amount of voltage the solar array can handle. The 30 amps is the maximum amount of amperage that it can kick out into the battery bank. So some of the most popular that we see are the 100 slash 30, such as this one right here, and the 100 slash 50. Now the 30 can handle up to about 500 watts, maybe a little bit less, of solar and the 50 can take uh, up to about 800 watts. Which one you'll need is gonna depend on how much panels you have on the roof and how they're wired. The larger solar array you have, the larger solar controller you will need. You can always go with a larger solar charge controller to start out with if you wanna grow your system over time. But it's important to note that if you start with a small controller and you use too much solar, you have the potential to damage your system. There's a lot of different ways to connect in a solar panel into a system and connecting the solar panels together. One common way is bare wire stripped with a butt connector and some heat shrink, or you can use MC4 connectors such as we have here on these rich solar panels. Now there's a positive and a negative and shown by a male and a female as well. Now you can interconnect the solar panels together with these and get a, a little bit of an extension and run it down into the solar charge controller. Now this is connected to our MPP solar charge controller. I'm gonna show you how these connect in. You've got a male to female connection, and then the female to the male. Now this solar panel is hooked up to the solar charge controller. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight on how to size out your solar system. As always, if you need any help or recommendations, give us a call at Battle Warm Batteries.